Alright, so today we're going to be showcasing off the new ABC on the new TCG ban list going up against the new Dark Warrior. I'm going to call it Nemesis because there's a lot of Dark Warrior variants with Assault. Um, they took a huge hit on the new list. Obviously, Mally going to 2 completely changes up how you're going to be able to get an extra free monster. But we're going to go ahead and showcase off how strong this deck can actually be because even though Mally's at 2, with the Nemesis, you're just going to be able to recycle them over and over again, giving yourself a bunch of extra advantage here. Uh, basically, resetting one of the Malleys is going to be very strong. ABC also took a nice little buff uh, with the new Master Rule because that helps out quite a bit also. Uh, because you're able to obviously go ahead and not require your zones. And with Chaos Emperor Dragon legal in the game... It could be a pretty nasty thing to run up against, and especially since you can just go ahead and use uh, the effect of Chaos Emperor Dragon. And you're just going to see the uh, Buster Dragon get uh, that massive 300 attack, or 300, 3000 attack plus the IP Masquerina. But the Nemesis archetype is still very, very strong. And uh, once again, the Dark Warrior variants, um, they're still really strong because it's sold. It has been so strong for a long time, plus you still happen to have the ability to easily access Phoenix Blade, which is actually banned in the OCG uh, because of its ability to recycle and basically recover. As you guys saw, we've already seen a Nibiru go off. We've already seen uh, him establish a board, but uh, obviously Bow of the God is very strong still. And now he's going to go ahead and stop the effect of Mascarena over there. And now he's going to attack over with the uh, bonus attack that the Divine Sword Phoenix Blade is able to go ahead and provide so he's going to go ahead and attack right into both of the monsters losing out on both monsters go ahead and make a digooster emerald going to go ahead and shuffle back some of the cards over here and once again ip mascarina really excellent card because obviously with abc you can go ahead and make boss monsters then go ahead and swap it right back out and we're going to go ahead and see a uh, dragon buster here and he's got thunderbird uh, and a decent little board that's going to go ahead and be game so it looks like abc is going to be taking game one but i want to go ahead and show you guys another game over here uh using the uh, dark uh warrior nemesis it also is using some of the flame uh noble knight cards i actually was running roland for the longest time just because it boosted up dark law which is basically a uh, win condition so to speak but we're gonna go ahead and see the mass change added and the nemesis once again gonna be able to recycle and go for that malicious that's probably why malicious was honestly hit the nemesis makes the deck so much more insane it usually gives you access to four negates versus three negates with Appaloosa. but now we've got the saryuja we've got uh boiled savage dragon with double negates on it uh, and it's got a decent amount of attack of course because the link zones and remember that new master rule makes things so much easier for decks um, that require those zones so we're gonna go ahead and actually see the zodiac so now we've got mass change for Mali. Uh, on top of that, we're going to see him activate the danger, but it's going to go right into Dark Law, and that pretty much uh, destroys most decks. I mean, we have a negate with this. This is getting rid of a uh, card. And then on top of that, as uh, that awesome effect, being able to uh, detach material, but he goes ahead and gets super poly, unfortunately. And then a Dingirsu comes out over here, but that's going to go ahead and attempt to destroy, but uh, obviously this can go ahead and protect the stuff. But Shadowmus is going to go ahead and add Vion over here, and we're going to go ahead and lose out on the entire board. But is it over? That's the real question here. So we're going to go ahead and see the uh, Flame Noble Knight. But once again, those Nemesis, they're really nasty to go ahead and run into because, again, they not only give you the ability to reset your Mali, but a lot of them get like one bonus effect. One of them searches out the other. Uh, red and blue are pretty much the go-to uh, best ones because red... Uh, we'll go ahead and have that effect to add any nemesis monster from your deck to your hand and then blue goes ahead and adds one from the graveyard So you get a lot of free advantage with that and then the unicorn is gonna go ahead and send it back That copy of Dingirsu and then we've got a Dawn Dragster So even though we lost out on that first like big combo you can see the deck definitely has some resilience And again, I think that dark warrior with nemesis is definitely going to be a very decent deck um, but I have some more replays. Uh, surprisingly, there is no part three. Why is there no part three? I don't know. It was sent in. Uh, but anyways, I want to go ahead and show you guys um, some other replays that I have that are uh, more of the Dark Nemesis Warriors uh, or D Dark Warrior Nemesis. I'm not sure what I actually want to call this deck, but I think it's very good. Um, but I want to go ahead and show you guys uh, just some more replays. But uh, I will also give you guys the deck profile for the ABC deck as well as the Dark Warrior Nemesis because originally when Mally went to 2 I was kind of sad because I was like this is the deck that I was thinking about building. Honestly when uh, uh, Colossus was gone um, 
or before it was gone, this deck could actually make that as well because you actually have a win target. But uh, we're going to go ahead and see uh, the ability of, of course, Millennium Eyes to absorb the Trident. So no shenanigans going on over here. But he still has Barrage. Uh, and I think that a lot of people are excited to play Zoo. And I was checking out this guy's build. It's pretty much just a pure Zoo deck, uh, which is still, like, okay. But I don't think it's nearly as powerful, obviously, as it once was. With so many negations nowadays in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, this card just got so much free advantage because you're able to not only get rid of one card, but then there was the, uh, what is that, where's that card? That comes out all the time it's like it just banishes the monster it's just it was tough a long time ago but looking at this board turn one again this board is very very consistent to make it's literally two warriors and you instantly have a dark law plus you have a negate plus if you go ahead and make opelousa which you can definitely do if you get three negates with opelousa this is technically it's once per turn though uh but you can get an extra negate with that dark law will always get rid of another card uh and you have that surprise factor as well so you can go ahead and see uh no dark law needed is at this point it's pretty much going to go ahead and be game over so stopping that monster reborn and at this point uh well are, are you going to be able to really do anything he's going for that whip tail and he's going to bring out another monster and then go ahead and start special summoning his cards but that card is going to go ahead and lose out on his target and then we're going to go ahead and see target mortar going to go ahead and attach those extra zoos but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because well, this card has the ability to stop a bunch of stuff. But, uh, and on top of this, is just too much attack. But there's a really insane field uh, that I want to show you guys uh, as the final replay here. And I'll give you guys the deck profiles of both of them right after here. But, uh, anyways, uh, Vion, once again, it's just pretty much butter and butter. Just send Mally to the grave, then you go ahead and sold. It's sold, activate its effect. Uh, we also lost out on another card for this combo. A lot of times, these Dark Warrior variant decks. Um, in fact, there's a lot of uh, Orcus variants of this as well, uh, but a lot of times they would go for Armageddon Knight to go ahead and send a card and look at the amount of cards that you have. It's just it's too much. This is the card that let you go to Colossus before, but it's not available anymore. But you still have the avail availability, if I can talk, uh, for uh, one of the Flame Noble Knights over here. So this card is really awesome because it happens to be a tuner, which then lets you go into your Savage uh, Dragon. And then now we have Opelousa, and this is our go-to play. A lot Sometimes you can't make Saryuja plus this card, but in this instance, we are able to go ahead and get that extra bonus damage too. Not that this matters because once you go ahead and flip up Dark Law up against Mermails, it's not a good time. And we also had an additional negate with Called by the Grave to go ahead and stop that from going off. So we're looking at uh, four negates with this and then five, and then this will always get rid of another card and then this is going to be an additional card on that. So it's like four, five, six, and then seven in the case if you want to kind of count it like that because dark law will always get rid of one card but uh, anyway now that you guys have seen it in action i want to give you guys both of the deck profiles over here i, I like i said i wish there was a game three here but i know a lot of people wanted to go ahead and see abc deck profile because of course it did get uh, changed on the ban list it actually kind of took a nerf in one sense because of this card obviously but it also took a pretty nice buff because of the new master rule which actually makes you able to use the Bujin, or if you want to go ahead and make Chaos Emperor Dragon, that's also another great option. Explain three copies of Nibiru, and one copy of Chaos Emperor, three copies of Danger Bigfoot, two copies of uh, the Chaos Dragon Living in Here, two copies of Thunderbird, two copies of Ogopogo, and then we've got the Nessie, two copies of A, two, uh, I'm sorry, three copies of B, and then two copies of C, three copies of Allure, one copy of Danger Response Team, two copies of Traden, three copies of Melody of the uh, uh, Awakening of course your uh, place for some extra searchability and just kind of go through the deck a little bit faster obviously terraforming you got uh, your monster reborn two copies of super poly three copies of union hanger and three copies of evenly match you got ip masquerade union carrier the barricade uh, blocker the phoenix uh, paladion the unicorn apolusa uh, Boil Sword, and then number 60, uh, which can also be quite great in the deck, and then we got Daigusto Emerald, and then we got Digirsu, Mud Dragon, Predator Plant, and then uh, Starving Venom, and then ABC, a Dragon Buster. Because again, remember, in that new ban list, this is only at one. Now for the uh, Dark Warrior Nemesis uh, deck, here's what we've got. Unfortunately, you only got two Mallies now, but uh, we also lost Jastruda, which a lot of times was the card that lets you go into this. But again, you guys saw, you're able to make the Savage Dragon and Dawn Drag quite easily in the deck. And then there's technically also the Zodiac Dryden over here, which can actually pop another card. So it's kind of like another... Uh, negation and if you have, uh, uh, obviously play Whiptail, which you're not going to be playing this, you can get rid of another card, potentially. More than likely, this card is a fact will honestly just get negated and then you won't be able to do anything with it. But anyways, Armageddon Knight, they've got uh, one copy of Shadow Mist, two copies of the Olivier, uh, three copies of Vion, um, 
two copies of the new space connector, two copies of the Nemesis. I'm just gonna call them by the colors because they're probably gonna be changed anyways. But this is Umbrella, it's the blue one. And then one copy of Aqua Dolphin, and three copies of the Nemesis Red, aka Flag. And then two copies of Keystone. This, so this one lets you target one of your banished ones. Um, unfortunately, none of the... Uh, go ahead and go over them. Like Aqua, Pyro, and uh, Rock over here. Uh, I really wish they had a warrior one because that would make this even better because then you can banish them But Keystone lets you target one of the banishers ones and then special summon uh, this card and then shuffle it back into the deck So you can recycle um, But then we got instant fusion reinforcement of the army reborn uh, Or legacy suggestion so it's basically another reborn and then this is just for the master rule and then uh, two copies of the mask change over here then we got two copies, uh, I'm sorry, three copies of called one copy of Adresta. This is just another Nemesis uh, Reborn over here. Then we got two copies of Hornet Drones, and then uh, two copies of DDR, and then uh, Phoenix Blade, Living Fossil, Autonomous, and Durendal. So uh, this card is equipped to a monster. You could add a level five or lower Fire Warrior monster from your deck to your hand. So basically just a search out. And if it's sent to the graveyard, because the uh, equipped monster was sent to the graveyard, you turn a level five or lower warrior monster graveyard and summon it. Uh, but there's a huge downside uh, with this card. Um, uh, I where is it? Uh, you also cannot special some monsters for the rest of this turn except for a fire, or I'm sorry, except for a warrior monsters. But what you do is you equip it to a monster after you obviously you search out one of the cards and then you leave it there. And then what happens is you get to still special summon it to block one extra attack or potentially have another uh, monster for the following turn. But for the next deck, we got Dark Law, Ragin, uh, the Millennium Eyes, Savage, Don Dragster, the uh, Zuyak uh, Shock, two copies of that, one copy of Dryden, and then two copies of Saryuja, then Apollosa, uh, Unicorn, and Phoenix uh, sold in your servers. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, those two decks battle it out and then some bonus footage because um, that's what was sent in. And I, I really wish we had that game three uh, between it. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you are new here, hit subscribe, turn on that bell so you don't miss out on more Yu-Gi-Oh content. But I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I want to give a shout out to my boy Teriyaki for hooking me up with the gameplay as well as his deck profile. And then a shout out to the other guy for the ABC deck, because uh, that was uh, quite interesting. I mean, like I said, this will this will make it uh, a little bit better. And on top of that, well, Ivers maybe not so useful in this deck, but Ivers is also technically at three, which could maybe, if you wanted to, uh, recycle some of the other cards, because you can go through these quite fast uh, as well. That might be another option as well. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a good one. I'm out. Peace.